Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I want to talk about painting on an acrylic pour. Um, I like to have paintings in my pour or just to enhance an existing pattern. So after some reviews and recommendations from fellow artists, I decided to buy the Posca marker pen uh, in size P3, PC3M. It's a water-based acid-free a marker that can be used on all surfaces. They have it in normal colors, they have it in metallics and they also have it in neon colors. So, so I bought a few and yeah you can see the instructions on the side of the marker. So I'm going to show you, you basically have to shake them, um, push in vertical the little tip until the white tip fills with color and then you can already use them. So let's see how it does. Okay, so here we have the green pen. Shake it. There is a little ball inside. And now I will push it down uh, carefully for a few seconds at the time two, three. You can already see the paint coming now, so I'm going to do it once more. And here we go, it's filled with green color. So this is a bullet shaped tip in 3M, so that's the size of the tip. And you can see here how it does. Well, it is very nice opaque looking color. Um, the line is very stable. It's not dripping, dropping, any kind of that type of thing. So it looks very nice for painting. Let me show you the one that I have in metallic, which is the gold one. Also very nice amount of paint coming out of it. Very regular line. So it seems to be working very nicely. The Uni Posca paint pens. Okay, so what I use them for is uh, today a little tea box lid and I'm not too happy with it so as a first try I'm gonna enhance it with the markers and see how it looks afterwards. The first advice to give here is uh, it needs to be cleaned like every other canvas surface where you for example use silicone you can have a look at my video for that and it needs to be completely dry again afterwards and the third advice is to apply a thin layer of any type of acrylic varnish um, this one is a really cheap one from a, from a dollar store so it doesn't need to be anything expensive I'm pretty sure any other medium would also work or acrylic binder it is to protect your painting, but also to protect the marker tips. So I'm going to do that now and then I'm going to let it dry and come back later to paint on it. Hi everyone, I'm back. So the varnish seems to be dry now, so I'm going to start using the markers. What you can do is, for example, enhance what you have, so using the existing pattern. But you can, of course, also make completely new pattern on it. So let's give it a go.
So I did a bit of it now and yeah, I, I don't like the pour even not with enhancement. It's fun to do though and the pans are doing pretty good. As you might have seen, I sometimes had to reshake and push it down again because the paint stopped coming out. So that's a bit irritating because it's different, difficult to, uh, yeah, to find the moment when it's going to happen. But I think that's going to probably be the same for any other marker too. And um, for the rest, they make really, really nice colors, uh, really, really nice lines. They're visible very well, and I think that's going to be a lot of fun to work with. Yeah, for this, I, I think I'm not gonna gonna use it, and I'm gonna paint over it again. But definitely put a layer of varnish because I think that makes a very big difference how it's sliding over the surface. Uh, so now, thanks for watching. Uh, come back, um, leave a comment, give it a thumbs up.